It's Black History time. Let's dig into some history. Armina Ross. Yes, Harriet Tubman. Of course you learn about her in school, but let me tell you something. It is so much that you can learn from this ancestor. Harriet had a horrible upbringing as an enslaved African. From being beaten often as a child to being sold apart from her family, her brothers, her sisters. At the age of 12, Harriet was seriously injured by a blow to the head, inflicted by a white overseer for refusing to assist in tying up a man who had attempted to escape, nearly killing her. And from this moment on, she experienced blackouts for the rest of her life. But see, this never stopped her. It was a setback, but it wasn't a deal breaker. Harriet had a plan to escape from slavery with her brothers, but when the time came, her brothers were too scared to leave. Even her husband, who was a free man, said he wasn't going, and he tried to talk Harriet out of it. He even claimed that if she left, he was gonna tell her master. From the beginning, the odds was against her. I mean, here we're talking this five foot tall woman, very petite, who probably no one took serious. Anybody out there like that? Have a dream, knowing that you are commissioned to do something, but you don't quite fit the bill to accomplish it. But Harriet set out alone, and with the help of abolitionists, she made it to Philadelphia. Here, Harriet got a job where she saved her money to help free enslaved Africans. You mean she ain't spend it on the latest kicks, the nicest fashions, the best blends of cotton that her money could buy? And don't you know that when you start your mission, everything and everyone that you are supposed to cross paths with will occur. While in Philly, Harriet met with William Steele. Steele was one of the Underground Railroad's busiest station masters. It was from Steele that she learned all the details of the Underground Railroad. And in 1850, she officially became a conductor. Harriet began to go back for small groups, and she had a successful trip bringing 11 to St. Catherine, Ontario. It was at this moment that she decided to go for larger groups. She said the Lord told her to do so. You know how she responded? Oh Lord, don't ask me. Send somebody else. She felt like she wasn't strong enough or brave enough to fulfill this humongous mission. And rightly so. Do you know what happened to those that worked against this oppressive slave system? So I can only imagine Harriet thinking, but I'm only five feet tall. Who cares? But I'm a woman. Who cares? At any moment, a blackout spell can occur. But Harriet said the Lord told her, it's you that I want. So in 1852, Harriet set out making one trip per year, sometimes two. And this wasn't an easy task. She'd have to sleep during the day and travel during the night, sometimes in extremely cold weather. If she couldn't be guided by the North Star because of a cloudy night, she would fill the trees understanding that moss only grew on the north side of the tree trunk, which guided her north. Her most famous trip involved a passenger who panicked and wanted to turn back. Harriet knew that if he returned, they'd torture him and he'd expose all the details of the Underground Railroad. But he quickly changed his mind when she pointed her pistol at his head and said, dead folks don't tell tales. Shame play? These trips were difficult, and especially on children. You know, this oppressive slave system was horrendous if you had parents willing to take their children walking over 400 miles in the dead of winter in northern states most with no shoes on and their feet bleeding. Often they walked in the rain and in the snow in the most horrendous conditions. And knowing that any moment, armed patrol and bloodhounds
Jones could show up and shut the whole operation down. But it never happened. And Harriet continued fulfilling her life's mission, making 19 trips and freeing literally hundreds of passengers. And for me, the best advice that today I still hold on to, if you're tired, keep going. If you're scared, keep going. If you're hungry, keep going. If you want a taste of freedom, keep going. Sometimes you just gotta let the ancestors motivate you. Ashe, Ashe.